everybody. Um, welcome to this FSQCA tutorial series. This is the first video in the series and uh, we're going to talk about um, step zero in FSQCA data analysis. Um, so for many of you, um, just like me, probably you know you were trained from all the way from college um, to grad school um, using quantitative data analysis methods. Um, so the quantitative data analysis methods are mostly based on correlation. For example, if the temperature is high, then the sales amount of ice cream goes high. So that's a positive correlation. On the contrary, if the temperature is low, if it's freezing outside, then very few people go buy ice cream, so the sales of the ice cream goes down. And that's still positive correlation. So um, by setting that up, um, it is assumed that um, there is a symmetrical uh, effect or phenomenon in correlation-based data analysis methods, meaning that if, you, if it's validated there's a positive correlation, then, um, then if, I, if, I, if it's validated that uh, there's a positive correlation between the temperature and uh, the sales of ice cream, then we can basically generate two hypotheses. Hypothesis one is um, when the temperature is high, the ice cream sales is also high. And hypothesis two is that when the temperature is low, the ice cream sales always, uh, all, 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 is also low. So, um, so each relationship generates two hypotheses, one positive, one negative, they are symmetrical. In FSQCA, however, um, it is not the case. So every relationship is just, just can just, just generate one hypothesis. It's not symmetrical. So for example, um, let's look at this question. So let's have the first question. What smartphone usages during study periods will lead to poor academic performance? Okay. Um, and let's look at question two. What smartphone usages during study periods will lead to good academic performance? Now, if you view this question as a correlate, if you are going to use correlation based data analysis methods, um, you really just need to ask the first question. And the answer to your first question will um, simultaneously generate answer to the second question. So you really just need to ask the first question. However, in FSQCA, that is not the case. Your answer for the first question might be totally different from the answer to your second question. So that goes to um, the second main point of this video is that um, before you start FSQCA data analysis, you really need to ask the right type of questions and come up with the right type of propositions. Um, that's the, the term for hypothesis in FSQCA data analysis. So we call it um, propositions instead of hypothesis. So uh, what type of propositions um, can FSQCA help to test? These are two examples. Proposition one. Students who rarely use smartphones for entertainment activities, except for gaming, have poor academic performance. Now that is a question, that is a, a, a right type of proposition that FSQCA data analysis methods can test. Why? Because it has um, two components. Um, the first component is students who rarely use, sorry, Students who rarely use, let me just exit and, and give you this. Students who rarely use smartphones for entertainment activities, except for gaming. So that is a correct type of um, proposition. Uh, that's, that's a right of a proposition for FSQCA because of this part. Um, it's a combination of more than one condition. 
Um, it is a combination of this part and let me just highlight it and uh, this part. Um, so that's a characteristic of proposition that FSQCA can test is that you need a combination of two, at least two conditions, well mostly more than two conditions. Um, that's on the left side. And then you have the sort of dependent variable on the right side. That's just one condition. And you need to spec because of the asymmetrical characteristic of SQCA technique, you need to specify the you need to specify the level of value for this dependent variable. You can't just say, you know, students who use student smartphone usage pattern can influence academic performance. And that's not the correct type of polarization that FSQC can test. Um, you need to specify the level. So poor academic performance, that's a level. And similarly, good academic performance, that's another level. So you need to specify the level of this variable um, that you want to test. So, so, the, so the idea here is that if you read the FSQCA manual or any publications from the author, uh, which is Rajan, Char, uh, Charles Rajan, um, you will see that he emphasized very much the, the cause and the consequence um, in the proposition. So that will be the cause and that will be the consequence. Um, so that's, uh, that's, that's all I want to talk about in this video and in the next video we will talk about step one in FSQCA. See you in next video.